let's get into um uh oh girl this kanye west stuff is just a lot going on for me um so kanye west dl hughley pete davidson it's just a mess so apparently kanye west is going off he's mad because northwest is on tiktok um saying that she likes to be like an emo girl it uh exposed the school she goes to um she goes to sierra canyon school private school mind you i looked at school up this morning it's like forty thousand dollars a year uh, i think lebron james son goes there Dwayne wade son goes there kylie jenner went there uh what's her name go uh, um kendall jenner goes there i mean it's a big uh let me put it up sierra canyon Sierra Canyon School, this is the school, child. This is the rich school out here in LA. They got, it's an upper campus and a lower campus. The upper campus um, goes all the way to 12th grade. And then the lower campus is like preschool, I mean, like uh, kindergarten through like middle school. And this is how much it costs. Where's the prices? Okay, this is the lower campus. So this is what Northwest and them is paying. Where's the prize? Where's the prize? Oh no, that's the book. Where's the prize? No, no, no. Tuitions and financial aid. I looked at this earlier. Um. Okay, here goes the lower. Okay, so pre-kindergarten is $20,000 a month. Kindergarten through sixth grade is $32,000. I mean, I don't know if it's a month or a year. Um, $32,000 a year. Um, additional lower fees is parent association fees, $150 a year because 80. Second and fourth grade trips, $125 or $275. Fifth grade trip is $750. Additional supplies, um, $400. OPI overnight science trip, $1,900. Um, this is the school where uh, the rich white kids go and black it's actually a lot of black kids at this school um, uh, let me see let's look at the uh, what LeBron's son is uh, what LeBron is paying a year because uh, his son go there too I think he's like and yeah he's paying LeBron is paying um, 40,000 a year for the high school or middle school, high school. Um, but his son is on the basketball team there. So um, Kanye put this out. Kanye said he does not want Northwest going to Sierra Canyon. Um, so this is the school where all the rich people go. All the rich kids go. They go to Sierra Canyon here in the Los Angeles area. Um, so it has just been a mess. Kanye West has been on rants all day. Um, and so what ended up happening was I think he even made a video let me go to Kanye's page. Kanye West, he might have deleted. Oh, he deleted. He deleted the videos. Um, but yeah, he made videos. Let me see. Do I have that? Let me go to the shape room and see if I can get the videos. Uh, let me see. And shall, maybe I should have had these earlier, huh? Oh, let's get the Kanye West videos right here. So I from people I knew. And the best advice I got right now was from Tory Lanez. And he just said to pray and ask for God to speak through me. You know, I got four children and there's so many people who don't have a voice and have the opportunity to be able to speak up and just God, if it is in your will, you know, touch the people that are currently watching my children, whatever sleepovers at, wherever they are at, the various nannies that watch all the the children um and and touch them and say please bring my children to sunday service this morning at 10 a.m you know god just it's this is out of my hands it's up to you this whole so i called different people. boyfriend text me antagonizing me bragging about being in bed with my wife, I thought I thought publicly for 
a year and a half has been, I've been dragged and how she's not my wife. She don't have a last name. And now he texting me talking and bragging about how he's in bed with my wife. And I'm like, well, who's watching my children? If he's texting me bragging about being in bed with my wife. And, and I thought this wasn't my wife no more legally since I got the, uh, you know, I got the lawyer to finally finish the divorce. Cause every time I finish this show, the free Hoover show, the next day she dropping the last night. Every time I do some positive, it's some negative that's coming. I go and get the laptop from Ray J. Then is she joking about divorce? I go and get the lawyer, change the lawyer so we can finally do the divorce. And then somehow I'm the one that's the stalker. God, I just need to protect my ch you protect the children. You to I know our nanny boyfriend conversation of custody, this whole narrative, gaslighting, you know, all of this. It's like right now, this is up to you. I thank you for putting me in a position to be able to make Sunday service and put this online and have my family, you know, be there. If, if my children be there to, to hear about God, to sing about God, to sing about Jesus Christ, for us to be able to have the, the, the first right, the freedom of speech in America to still talk about God out loud. This morning, God, please, you know, there's no reason why these young children upon their father's re request shouldn't be allowed to come to Sunday service. At this point, it's 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 going too far. God, please. The conversation of custody, this whole. Okay, they're trying to use North against you. They know that that's your only trigger. They aren't using your other kids. Oh, I guess this was um, the game. Saint TikTok wouldn't trigger you as much because he's your son and you and and our boys have us in them. North and Shy pull up on your heartstrings the most because they're um, delicate children. They're girls, and we're our we are protectors due to our knowledge of women being abused in this world. We as men in that community have no say so of where our kids go to school. I'll see if Trav does, but Tristan. Uh, uh, I know I hadn't had to say so. I didn't want my kids to go to Sierra Canyon. And so when y'all talk about this, are they going to use mental health for the custody? I don't have custody. I had to fight to have my kids not on TikTok. It had been a fight for when my kids go to school and we started our own school. It's always been a gang. You understand? It's like there's, we've never had Christmas any place else other than one location for the entire time and we understand that but i want y'all to know like yo this has been 20 years i've been contributing my thoughts ideas perspectives y'all agree with me sometimes y'all don't agree with me but y'all got someone that can talk to you that's not being controlled by a management conglomerate we as men in that community have no say so of where our kids go to school i'll see if Trav does, but Tristan, uh, uh, I know I hadn't had a, you know what I'm saying? I remember one time Jay Brown blatantly said, yo, you're, you're crazy, right? But was I crazy when you tried to get 15% of Yeezy for Rock Nation for no reason? And I told you, no, was I crazy then? You see, sometimes, you know, it's just like how people in, in Hollywood, they'll bully you for not being a part of exactly what they want, for not voting for Hillary, for not... You, you, just God, I know that people are going to feel me and feel my heart just as a father, you know what I'm saying? Like just as a, as a dad, you know, I, I look up and I wanted to come to Kim's defense in some way about the, when, when everyone's attacking her about the variety, cause that's just my heart as a dad, my spirit is like just to protect at all costs. And I just look at my daughter full makeup singing. She's in love with an emo girl on TikTok, And I didn't have no say nor approval. You know what I'm saying? Hey, what do you think? Do you think this would be cool or not? You know what I mean? And I'm the one that made them cool. But then I'm not asked what's cool for my actual children in America. Like, nah, man. 
and King Nobody on their side, my side, not Tracy Romulus that puts her kid next to my daughter to try to control her. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've been fired, Tracy Romulus. Not Ray Romulus, her husband won't say nothing. Like, no, bro, it's up. And the thing that you're not going to do is get me to do anything illegal or anything like your favorite word, erratic. That's why I'm talking to you directly. They wouldn't give me Chicago, the address of Chicago's birthday party so that could scar in her memory that dad wasn't there. When dad want to be there, y'all turn the idea I mean, I was just at the house two days ago. Hey, what do you think? With my kids doing homework with Kim right there. Well, y'all running this narrative that somehow I'm this thing. I'm a dad. I have an opinion. I'm an American. I'm a Christian. I'm an entrepreneur and I'm not controlled. With my kids okay. doing homework. So this that all came after he had responded to D.L. Hughley because um, D.L. Hughley kind of did an interview and addressed Kanye. And oh, child, this is just a mess. Let's get into it. Hold on. What did D okay, this is what D.L. Hughley had to say on Black just never. The difference between him and the other dude that get restraining orders on them is hundreds of millions of dollars. Right, because he bought a house across the street That's not, from her house. Th listen, I don't, I think that I've watched too many times where things like that happen and a woman or somebody's not believed and then things escalate. Yeah. Tom, he is stalking her. You could think it's cute. If it was my daughter, I'd do something about it. I don't mm. think it's funny. I think that you can't write a beat so good that you get to do these things. And society laughs it off because they say, well, she showed her ass all the time and he's this and he's that. And this, that. At a certain point, it def it is not unusual for men like that. The, only, the only difference between him and a restraining order is about 20 hits and a couple of hundred million dollars. I just don't think it's funny. I think that that that. Kanye wouldn't get no pussy at all if he didn't write no hits. You know that. Like, he's not the kind of dude. You don't. <laughs> like, he counts on the shit that he. This, I just never. Okay. And Kanye says, used to be famous. Now you just known as a broke pawn. At least Oprah got billions, allegedly. Come on, leftists. Y'all got to do better than DL. This yay bring the real smoke, baby. Show your real face, Charlemagne. He can't stand Charlemagne. Just don't hit the same dude. Um, just don't hit the same do he um who y'all gonna get now god is with us and you send dl to be against us you've lost n no brilliant hebrews will bow to y'all no more only dumb blank attic house blank don't play me um and don't play with god anybody related to dl call miss chris mclean and adidas for yeezys they not free though we running a business over here he just getting ran you see skeet missing work anybody else want to play with me please please for the love of god come on and get me let's um see how this turns out yeah, yeah. This is, uh, security guard. <laughs> then he showed where a d.l hughley passed out d.l hughley responded and said hmm ain't it weird kanye supposed to have all these goons who's gonna kill him but not one of them will get his prescriptions filled Here's a thought while you're on your way to kill, kill me in Calabasas. How about somebody drop by CVS and pick up your Xanax? Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, Kanye, it's just too bad that you acting like a nut won't stop Pete from busting one. Oh, too bad you won't stop acting like a nut. Won't stop Pete from busting one. Oh, wow. Ain't no way in hell I'll ever be scared of a dude that wears. Okay. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> the girls are fighting absolutely <laughs> oh wow
<laughs> I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready to read those out loud. Um, and then it didn't stop there. Skeet um, has someone release some cheap tweets on his behalf. Yo, it's Skeet. Can you please take a second to calm down? It's 8 a.m. And I don't got to be, and it don't got to be like this. Kim is literally the best mother I've ever met. What she does for those kids is amazing. And you're so effing lucky that she's your mom, your kid's mom. I've decided I'm not going to let you treat us this way anymore. And I'm not going to be quiet. Grow the F up. Oh, so you using profanity? Where are you right now? Kanye says, I'm in bed with your wife. Skeet posts, I don't think he is. He says, happy to see you're out the hospital and rehab. Um, Kanye, uh, Skeet, uh, Skeet says, same here. It wonders what those places do to you when you get when you go get help. You should try it. It's wonders what those places do to you when you go get help. You should try it. I'm in L.A. for the day. If you want to stop being a little Internet blank boy and talk. You don't scare me, bro. Your actions are so phony and embarrassing. Um, it's so sad to watch you ruin your legacy on the daily. Kanye says, you're more than welcome to come to Sunday service. Why don't we meet after Sunday service and, and Saints game? I'll be at the BHH. We can have food and talk it out in my room privately, one-on-one, -on -one, man to man. What you are doing to your family is dangerous and going to scar them for life. Please handle these matters privately, bro. I beg you. You want to see me? Come to Sunday service. He says, this isn't public, dude. I'm not here for pictures and press, which is obviously all you care about. My offer stands. I wish you'd man up for once in your life. Let me help you, man. I struggle with mental stuff, too. It's not an easy journey. You don't have to feel this way anymore. There's no shame in having a little help. You'll be so happy and at peace. You have no idea how nice I've been trying to been to you despite your actions towards me. I've stopped SNL from talking about or making fun of you, which they've wanted to do for months. I've stopped stand-up comedians. Uh-oh, where's that? From doing bits about you because I don't want the father of my girl's kids to look bad out there. I have your back even though you treat me like blank because I want everything to be smooth. But if you continue to press me like you have for the past six months, I'm going to stop being nice. Wow. Well, Pete said what he said. He spoke for himself. He's like, I'm with Kim now. It is what it is. Leave me alone. And I kind of feel him on that. You know, it's just like, leave me alone. Like, like I haven't said anything. Like, But you're not going to keep playing in my face because I'm not being disrespectful to you. So I get it. Whatever issues you got, don't with Kim or whatever, just don't make, don't bring me involved. Um, but this is very strategic. I don't know. I, this is very, very interesting. Um, I'm going to open up the lines and I want to know what you guys have to say in regards to this whole entire situation. Remember, don't get on here doing the fool or I will cut you off uh, and hang up in your face. Okay. Don't get up here doing a lot of, don't do any cussing. Don't do anything crazy. Don't call in if you can't hold your time. I'd rather take no calls. Five six three nine 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 three six five eight. Your show now, press one. To hear important instructions, press two. Okay. Your show is scheduled to start in 28 seconds. It
If you have not done so, please make sure you guys subscribe to the YouTube channel. Follow me on Instagram. It's very important that you follow me on Instagram, okay? Follow my Instagram page. Let me pull it up. Your show will go live in five seconds. Four, three, two, Follow one. me on Instagram. Here we are, the Armand Wiggins Show. It's very important. Follow me, follow me. Fun stuff on my Instagram page, guys. Follow me there. Music, stream that. Remind you, not the one. Stream my songs. Um, more music dropping soon, by the way. I've been working on it. Yes, yes, yes. More music dropping soon. Um, some, some content dropping soon. Just filmed some content this day. This was two days ago, Friday. Um, so we got some content dropping soon that day. Um, more music coming soon. We got some bangers coming out. Merch will be coming out. Um, I'm really, really excited. So be on the lookout for that. All right.